In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective formations in the run heavy playbook in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now my channel centers around basically getting better at Madden 21. I want to get better at Madden 21 and I want to invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can get better at the game alongside of me and I think I believe that together we can get better um, at this game. Now again, I just released a, an ebook on the bunch tight end in the run heavy playbook but today I wanted to show you kind of a sample formation um, or not really a sample sample formation, but a supplementary formation that you can use alongside of the bunch tight end that will make this offense even more effective. Now, the run heavy playbook was something that a lot of players were running in the beginning of the year, but then they shifted, um, and I actually think it's still, and maybe people didn't complete the scheme, but it is an amazing, amazing offense, especially in light of some of the recent patches and updates to the way defense is played. So we're going to dive right in here, and again, if you want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that. It's completely free to subscribe. Research shows that only 40% of the people that are watching this video have actually subscribed to my YouTube channel, which means if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's completely free. And if you want to get my full single back trio scheme, that link is actually in my text message membership, which all you got to do to pick that up is just text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so single back trio, and we're going to kind of focus in on one play in particular from the single back trio today, and that's the PA boot. It very probably looks very, very familiar to you. It's very similar to the PA cross from Bunch Tight End, except the difference is this PA boot is really more of a, a trips tight end, almost kind of single back trips tight end, essentially, um, with how it works. Now there's two ways you there's several ways that you can run this play. Um, the first way I want to show you is basically what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into PA boot over um, from the uh, from from the 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 single back or I'm sorry from the bunch tight end. So all we're going to do is we're going to delay fade the tight end. That's literally all that. That's the only setup we're going to use. Um, and then that's it. We're just going to snap the ball and we're going to want to roll out. We want to get out of the pocket. And what you'll see is Devonte Adams route. And I think this actually was done kind of in a recent patch update to the game. But his route does a really, really good job of getting separation against man-to-man -man coverage. Essentially, this route is now more of a crossing route than it was previously. Previously, it was ran more kind of like a... Um, I, I, I kind of even struggled to think about how to explain it. But it wasn't ran as a crossing route. It was more of, you know, kind of a post route, inverted. And as you can see right there, it beats man-to-man -man coverage to the inside. Now, the other thing that you get with this... Because it's a natural boot play, you get that natural uh, animation there. What's nice about that is that delay fade is actually better from this formation than it is from bunch uh, from bunch tight end. And the reason why is because there's a natural boot action from under center that is even better. And as you can see here, literally all you have to do, and this is with the defense pass committee, this is an absolute glitch to man coverage. So the defense is pass committing, and they're obviously the tight end is manned up, and the defense is pass committed. All you're going to do, again, just run the play action, roll all the way out. You see that they're going to start chasing you, and then you just release that delay fade, and you're going to get yardage. Easy yardage for your quarterback, easy yardage for your offense. It's one of the most effective plays um, in the entire game this year, um, but when you do it from under center, I think it actually grows in its effectiveness, as you can see right there. They just automatically blitz you, especially when it's a natural rollout like it is um, in this in this sequence, in this route combination here. You see here, just I leave the play action on, get all the way out of the pocket. As you see, they chase me, and it's an automatic dot pretty much every single time to the tight end. So now that we have a solution for man coverage, and we definitely do have a solution, um, one other thing that you could do, because if they start using this route, you want to be prepared. Um, another thing that you'll notice is this route to Lazard, um, it's not super effective in regs, because most regs receivers don't have the route running threshold to be able to get open. But in Mutt, this is really, really effective. Another route that you have is this route to MVS, Marquez Vada Scantling. And what you can do with this is you can smart route the route. So you don't have to let it go um, all the way up. You can basically smart route it. And again, you're just getting out of the pocket here. And essentially, it's an inside pass lead, and you're going to get that aggressive catch pretty much every single time against man-to-man -man coverage. 
That being said, man-to-man -man coverage is definitely the hardest thing uh, to beat from this formation. So if you are still getting a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, what I would recommend that you do is essentially grab um, Lazard here and put him on a slant route. And then still, I would keep the delay fade just because of how effective it really is. Uh, but essentially, you're just going to run a motion slant um, just to kind of have something uh, other than that that they have to go user and now you have really three maybe even four routes that are going to get open against <clears throat> against man coverage so now let's spend a little bit of time talking about everybody's favorite coverage and that is mabel coverage from a um from the 335 wide and we're going to run the setup exactly the same and i just want you to watch the routes now these purple zones are shaded at about 20 yards and what you'll notice here is this route to Devonte adams <laughs> absolutely is a laser against this coverage i mean it is an absolute dime um and it's it is so so good i can't tell you how good it is because really what people are going to think is they're going to think oh there's no way that my outside third won't stop it you're rolling out you're rolling out you're rolling out but you see here on the sideline this thing i'm telling you i hit this more times than not um, these are 20 to 25 yard shaded purples that most people are running out of their um, nickel 335 wide. I'm no exception. I'm doing the same thing as well. And again, you want to be rolling out. But as you'll see here, if you have a good quarterback on the rollout, you can hit that. Now, let's say you don't have a good quarterback on the rollout. Let's say you're you're running with like a you know a Rich Gannon or something like that, and they're more of a pocket passer. They're not somebody that you want to be rolling out and just trying to throw lasers with because they don't have dashing dead eye, right? If you're in that scenario, then simply basically get out here and then stop. And again, all you're going to do is pass lead that down and to the right, and Devontae Adams should be open. Now, if he's not, if there's any issue uh, with him getting open, another thing that I like to do out of this formation is simply, especially if I know it's zone coverage, um, if I know it's zone coverage, more than likely what you're going to see, at least you're going to see me do, is you're probably going to see me either streak the tight end or uh, have some kind of form of that. But you'll see here this crossing route does okay. Um, it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a shallow crossing route. Um, that's the one little issue that I have with this play. So if you want to, again from PA boot over, if you want to, you can just drag. You know, because again, this turns it into essentially the same thing. This little drag right here to Lazard is something that you can hit. And you'll see that because of the drag, you can – and, again, you want to make sure that when you throw this route to Devontae Adams, you have to be really careful, and you have to have Gunslinger. I mean, you you, you pretty much have to have Gunslinger to throw this. But um, provided that you have Gunslinger on your quarterback, you can throw this with a, pat, with a low pass lead or something like that, again, as long as you clear the space. So if you take the crossing route off the field, right, now you have this right here. And again, you get it out, and it's just a simple low pass. And as you can see there, it's a dot on the sideline. Now, what happens when they adjust to that, and what happens when they go user that? Well, let me show you a little bit of an example of what would happen. So, uh, essentially, what I'm going to do is man up the, the middle linebacker onto the crossing route um, to kind of mimic that. And again, you're going to be rolling out, obviously. So you're rolling out. You see, oh, they're going to go guard him, and then I can basically release the fade, release the tight end on the delay fade right up into the middle of that zone defense. So really, really good route combinations and just really overall, I think, really, really tough to stop. Now, another thing that I like to do from this is let's say that, you know, let's say that I want to, you know, again, just be, you know, just be prepared for if they were to go man coverage. I might put Lazard on a motion slant, right? If I run him on that motion slant, again, I'm running this little boot action right here. What you'll notice is, once again, this thing right here on the sideline, low ball is an absolute laser. You can hit that consistently against zone coverage but the other thing that you'll notice is that when you run this motion slant this motion slant will essentially drag across the formation so he's going to come essentially across and this is a really really great little route that you can throw in between zones um, throughout throughout the way people play defense so this is a little bit about single back trio now obviously you have other things you don't just have this you have the stretch you have the dive you have the zone weak you have a ton of really good resources at your disposal with this single back trio so use them but this play pa boot i think it's one of the top plays um in the entire game right now one other thing that i didn't touch on a ton 
um, is this right here, which basically all I'm doing is streaking the tight end now instead of delay fading him. And what you'll see is when you streak him, there is so much room to hit this route to Devontae Adams. It is it is almost automatic how easy it is to hit him. Now let's say you're and I didn't talk about this either. Let's say they're running some type of cover two. You know, same kind of scenario right here. We're just going to streak that tight end and essentially hit Devontae Adams uh, against the cover two as he crosses over. So if you want to get my full single back trio scheme, just shoot me a text message. Um, I got a video on that. If you want to get the bunch tight end offense out of the run heavy guide, go ahead and pick it up. It's in the description of this video. It's the best offense in the game. Very, very effective, especially when you kind of incorporate some of these wrinkles from the single back trio because the single back trio is a very effective formation in its own right. And in my opinion, um, with some of the patches that they've done to the pressures, it makes it even better. Um, this formation is a pain. It's tough to stop. And in my opinion, this in combination with bunch tight end is very, very good. And you're going to see a lot of success with these two sets back and forth. But primarily, I would focus in on the bunch tight end and then using this as kind of a supplement to the bunch tight end. But thanks for watching this video. Again, if you haven't picked up the bunch tight end offense, the link for that full scheme is in the description of this video. And then also, if you want to get the single back trio, a video that I did um, several weeks back in my text membership is on the single back trio. Now, it's out of Minnesota, but a lot of the concepts carry over to the uh, to the run heavy version. The run heavy version is actually a little bit better. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to pick up that ebook in the description if you're interested. Otherwise, text me if you have any questions, and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.